You know, we don't learn reality because it's just there and we suck it all up and we know what reality is. We're always figuring it out. We're trying to say what happens when that tone of voice is used or what's going on when my mom stomps her foot or what can I do and, and why can't I play with this electrical cord? We put our reality together and the consequences for this is that we may shut down from conclusions we reached when we were 18 months old, all kinds of possible pathways. I can remember that my sister told me once that I wasn't supposed to move my arm so much when I walked. My sister was my older sister. She, I must not have been supposed to. For years, I didn't move my arms very much when I talked. I mean, when I walked. <laughs> Crazy. But there are all kinds of things like that that get inserted because we thought we drew a correct inference. We saw this and that happened and we put two and two together and it wasn't two and two at all. You have a bunch of limits that you're carrying around like garbage because you collected all these mad scientist ideas but you weren't very smart about how to put it all together. And you can put things together and they can hold for you often enough that you'll stay with them and you don't even realize that it isn't reality at all. You need to go in and start examining where you close things off because the number of things you open back up creates a whole new realm of possibilities. And it's great to have guidance when you do that. I mean, that's why therapists make money because it's valuable to have somebody help you know your misconceptions. And any good person you would ever want to work with, and believe me, your progress goes faster when you work with somebody who's an expert, is going to help you unlock the secrets and find all the places you've been blocked because you created those blocks early on and they stuck because they were never refuted. Get into a process of refuting the bogus ideas you have. It's going to open you up and make success come much more quickly. Believe me, since you're a high achiever, you may know about this. High achievers often hit a wall. They're going along, they're having one success after another, and then suddenly something happens and they grind to a halt. And it's confusing because they're not sure what it is they've done wrong, if it's anything. They just know that they're not moving anymore the way they're used to moving, the way they have moved in the past. If you've run into like what seems like a ceiling over you and you're kind of in a fog and you're mystified as to what's getting in your way, you can even kind of slide into a swirl of doubts and wonder if you've ever really achieved anything significant at all. And whether any of your amazing achievements that you've done were anything but kind of fronting or a little bit of a fraud. That is really negative and pernicious and it doesn't have to be that way. I want you to go get a free report from me. Go to drkenchristian.com forward slash breakthrough and receive from me this free report with action steps that are going to tell you exactly what to do now to get you going.